Introduction to Target Link. Create a Target Link model from scratch. This video will show the following information Target Link block library, mandatory Target Link blocks, implementing the control algorithm, adding stimulus data and plant model, and simulating the model. If you want to generate production code for a controller and you did not design your control algorithm with Simulink yet, you can always do this with Target Link Blocks instead. To create a Target Link model from scratch, the first step is to open the Target Link Block Library. This library is a specially designed controller implementation library that contains all typical blocks for designing discrete time controllers. Each Target Link model must contain a few mandatory blocks namely, a Target Link main dialog block, which is the central interface to Target Link, a mill handler block for simulating the model behavior and performing overflow checks, and finally, at least one Target Link subsystem block. Target Link generates production code only for model elements inside this subsystem. After you add the mandatory blocks, you can implement your control algorithm in the Target Link subsystem. To do this, use the blocks from the Target Link block library. In the Target Link block dialogs, you can access data such as model parameters, several options for the production code generation later on, and logging options for Target Link's built-in simulation support. To get first simulation results for your controller model, and for the generated production code later on, outside the Target Link subsystem, you can now add some blocks for stimulus data and also for the plant model. When you click the Start Simulation button, the Simulink behavior of the controller model is simulated and the Target Link Plot Overview window opens. This window shows the simulation results of the signals that you defined for logging. This is called Model in the Loop Simulation. It acts as a reference for subsequent production code simulations and for detecting overflows or performing simulation-based auto-scaling.